Imperial College London, officially Imperial College of Science, Technology and Medicine, is a public research university located in London, United Kingdom. In 1851, Prince Albert began work on his vision for a cultural area composed of the Victoria and Albert Museum, Natural History Museum, Royal Albert Hall, Royal Colleges, and the Imperial Institute. His wife, Queen Victoria, laid the foundation stone for the Imperial Institute in 1888. In 1907, the college was granted a royal charter merging the Royal School of Mines, Royal College of Science, and City and Guilds College. In 1988, the Imperial College School of Medicine was formed through a merger with St. Mary's Hospital Medical School. In 2004, Queen Elizabeth II opened the Imperial College Business School. The main campus is located in South Kensington, with a new innovation campus in White City. The college also has a research centre at Silwood Park, and teaching hospitals throughout London. Imperial's emphasis is on the practical application of science and technology, and is organised through faculties of natural science, engineering, medicine and business. The university is amongst the most international in the world, with 59% of students from outside the UK and more than 140 countries represented on campus. In 2018 19, Imperial is ranked 8th globally in the QS World University Rankings, 9th in the The World University Rankings, and 24th in the Academic Ranking of World Universities. It was ranked by Reuters the world's most innovative universities as the most innovative university in Europe. As of October 2018, 14 Nobel laureates, three Fields medalists, and one Turing Award winner have been affiliated with Imperial College London as alumni, faculty, or researchers, in addition to 74 Fellows of the Royal Society, 84 Fellows of the Royal Academy of Engineering, and 85 Fellows of the Academy of Medical Sciences. Topic. History The college's origins can be traced back as far as the founding of the Royal College of Chemistry on Hanover Square in 1845, with the support of Prince Albert and Parliament. Following some financial trouble, this was absorbed in 1853 into the newly formed Government School of Mines and Science Applied to the Arts, located on German Street. The school was renamed the Royal School of Mines a decade later. The medical school has roots in many different schools across London, the oldest of which dates back to 1823, with the foundation of the teaching facilities at the West London Infirmary at Villiers Street. Later known as Charing Cross Hospital Medical School, it was designed to provide medical education for the needs of a university. This was followed in 1834 when Westminster Hospital surgeons started taking students under their care. Established on Dean Street, the school was forced to close in 1847, but was reopened in 1849 with a new specimen museum. The first teaching at St. Mary's Hospital Hospital in Paddington began in 1851, with St. Mary's Hospital Medical School established in 1854. Topic. The Great Exhibition Proceeds from the Great Exhibition of 1851 were designated by Prince Albert to be used to develop a cultural area in South Kensington for the use and education of the public. Within the next six years the Victoria and Albert and Science Museums had opened, joined by the Natural History Museum in 1881, and in 1888 the Imperial Institute as well as museums, new facilities for the Royal Colleges were also constructed, with the Royal College of Chemistry and the Royal School of Mines moving to South Kensington between 1871 and 1872. In 1881 the Normal School of Science was established in South Kensington under the leadership of Thomas Huxley, taking over responsibility for the teaching of the natural sciences and agriculture from the Royal School of Mines. The school was granted the name Royal College of Science by royal consent in 1890. 
As these institutions were not part of universities, they were unable to grant degrees to students, and instead bestowed associateships such as the Associateship of the Royal College of Science, the Central Institution of the City and Guilds of London Institute, formed by the City of London's livery companies, was opened on Exhibition Road by the Prince of Wales, founded to focus on providing technical education, with courses starting in early 1885. The institution was renamed the Central Technical College in 1893, becoming a school of the University of London in 1899. 20th century In 1907, the Board of Education found that greater capacity for higher technical education was needed and a proposal to merge the Royal School of Mines, the Royal College of Science, and City and Guilds College, was approved and passed, creating the Imperial College of Science and Technology as a constituent college of the University of London. Imperial's Royal Charter, granted by King Edward VII, was officially signed on 8 July 1907, originally incorporating the Royal School of Mines and the Royal College of Science, with the City and Guilds College joining in 1910. The main campus of Imperial College was constructed beside the buildings of the Imperial Institute. In 1959 the Wolfson Foundation donated £350,000 for the establishment of a new biochemistry department, a special relationship between Imperial and the Indian Institute of Technology Delhi was established in 1963. The Department of Management Science was created in 1971 and the Associated Studies Department was established in 1972. The Humanities Department was opened in 1980, formed from the Associated Studies and History of Science Departments. In 1988, Imperial merged with St. Mary's Hospital Medical School, becoming the Imperial College of Science, Technology and Medicine. In 1995, Imperial launched its own academic publishing house, Imperial College Press, in partnership with World Scientific. Imperial merged with the National Heart and Lung Institute in 1995 and the Charing Cross and Westminster Medical School, Royal Postgraduate Medical School RPMS, and the Institute of Obstetrics and Gynecology in 1997. In the same year the Imperial College School of Medicine was formally established and all of the property of Charing Cross and Westminster Medical School, the National Heart and Lung Institute and the Royal Postgraduate Medical School were transferred to Imperial as the result of the Imperial College Act 1997. Topic: 21st century. In 2000, Imperial merged with both the Kennedy Institute of Rheumatology and Y College, the University of London's Agricultural College in Y, Kent, which later closed. In 2003 Imperial was granted degree awarding powers in its own right by the Privy Council. The London Centre for Nanotechnology was established in the same year as a joint venture between UCL and Imperial College London. In 2004, the Imperial College Business School, originally known as the Tanaka Business School, and a new main entrance on Exhibition Road were opened by Queen Elizabeth II. The UK Energy Research Centre was also established in 2004 and opened its headquarters at Imperial. In 2008, the Tanaka Business School was renamed the Imperial College Business School. In November 2005, the faculties of Life Sciences and Physical Sciences merged to become the Faculty of Natural Sciences. On 9 December 2005, Imperial announced that it would commence negotiations to secede from the University of London. Imperial became fully independent of the University of London in July 2007. In July 2008 the Centre for Advanced Structural Ceramics was opened in the Materials Department. In April 2011, Imperial and King's College London joined the UK Centre for Medical Research and Innovation as partners with a commitment of £40 million each to the project. The centre was later renamed the Francis Crick Institute and opened on 9 November 2016. It the largest single biomedical laboratory in Europe. 
In 2014 the Dyson School of Design Engineering was opened following a £12 million donation by the James Dyson Foundation, along with courses such as the Meng in Design Engineering. Topic. Campuses Topic. South Kensington The South Kensington campus is the college's main campus, where most teaching and research takes place. The campus dates back to 1871, and includes the land and buildings owned by the colleges which originally merged to form Imperial College, the Royal College of Science, the Royal School of Mines, and the City and Guilds College. It is home to many notable buildings, such as the Business School and the Royal School of Mines. It is also the original site of the Imperial Institute, whose Queen's Tower still stands at the heart of the campus overlooking Queen's Lawn. As part of a cultural center known as Albertopolis, based on the vision of Prince Albert, the campus is surrounded by many of London's most popular attractions, including the Royal Albert Hall and Kensington Palace, museums including the Natural History Museum, Science Museum, and Victoria and Albert Museum, and institutions such as the Royal College of Art, the Royal College of Music, and the National Art Library. The campus has many restaurants and cafes run by the college, and contains much of the college's student accommodation, including the Prince's Garden Halls, and Bait Hall, home to the College Union, which runs student pubs, a nightclub, and a cinema on site. To the north, within easy walking distance from the college, are Kensington Gardens and Hyde Park, with green spaces and sports facilities used by many of the student clubs. White City. A second major campus has started opening in White City, to the west of the main campus, providing an innovation hub for the college, including research facilities and commercialization space, as well as postgraduate accommodation. The chemistry department moved much of its research to the new Molecular Sciences Research Hub on the campus in 2018, with further departments and industry partners moving to the campus and surrounding area over the coming years. The campus is also home to the Innovation Rooms, a college hackerspace and community outreach center. Silwood Park Silwood Park is a postgraduate campus of Imperial located in the village of Sunning Hill near Ascot in Berkshire. The Silwood Park campus includes a center for research and teaching in ecology, evolution, and conservation set in 100 hectares of parkland where ecological field experiments are conducted, and contains student halls for students studying for a degree on the site. <laughs> Hospitals Imperial has teaching hospitals across London which are used by the School of Medicine for undergraduate clinical teaching and medical research. One nearby is the Wilson House Hall of Residence, which was originally connected to St. Mary's Hospital Medical School. Topic. Organization and administration Topic. Faculties and departments Imperial is organized through a network of faculties and departments. Topic global Institutes Imperial hosts global centers to promote interdisciplinary work, Energy Futures Laboratory Gandhi Center for Inclusive Innovation Grantham Institute for Climate Change Institute for Security Science and Technology Center for Health Economics and Policy Innovation Brevin Howard Center for Financial Analysis and Technology Global Entrepreneurship and Development Index Data Science Institute Institute for Molecular Science and Engineering Francis Crick Institute Topic. Governance The highest academic official of Imperial College London is the President, formerly known as the Rector. 
the President is the Chief Executive, elected by the Council of the College and Chairman of the Senate. The position has been held by Alice Gast, an American chemical engineer, since September 2014. In 2012, the additional post of Provost was created. James Sterling became the first Provost of Imperial College London in August 2013. He was succeeded as Provost by Ian Walmsley in September 2018. The Council is the governing body of Imperial, it consists of 23 members including the Chairman, the President, the Provost, the President of the Imperial College Union, four members of senior staff, and between 9 and 13 lay members who are not employees of Imperial. The current Chair is Sir Philip Dilley. Topic. Finances and endowment In 2017–18, Imperial had a consolidated income of £1,033 million. It has the eighth largest endowment of any university in the United Kingdom, and the second largest of the universities in London. The college's endowment is sub-divided into three distinct portfolios. Unitized Scheme, a unit trust vehicle for the college, faculties and departments to invest endowments and unfettered income to produce returns for the long term. Non-core property, a portfolio containing around 120 operational and developmental properties which the college has determined are not core to the academic mission. Strategic asset investments, containing the college's shareholding in imperial innovations and other restricted equity holdings. Topic. Affiliations and partnerships Imperial is a member of the Association of Commonwealth Universities, European University Association, Global Alliance of Technological Universities, League of European Research Universities and the Russell Group. It is a founding member of the Imperial College Academic Health Sciences Centre, the Francis Crick Institute and Medcita. Topic. Academic profile Topic Rankings World and Europe Imperial is ranked 8th worldwide overall by the 2018 Times Higher Education Ranking, as well as 3rd in Europe and in the UK after Oxford and Cambridge, 1st in London. Within the same ranking, Imperial is 4th worldwide in medicine, 9th in natural sciences and mathematics, 9th in computing, 10th in engineering and technology, as well as 10th in life sciences. The college is ranked 8th worldwide by the 2019 QS Top Universities Ranking overall, as well as 4th in Europe, 3rd in the UK, and 1st in London. By the same ranking in 2018, Imperial is sixth worldwide in engineering and technology, including third worldwide in civil engineering, fifth in electrical and electronic engineering, seventh in chemical engineering, eighth in mechanical and aeronautical engineering, as well as twelfth in computing, tenth in natural sciences, including ninth worldwide in environmental sciences, tenth in mathematics, eleventh in materials science, eleventh in physics and astronomy, thirteenth in chemistry, and twenty-third in earth. Earth Sciences, 11th in Life Sciences and Medicine including 11th Worldwide in Medicine, 17th in Pharmacology and 19th in Biological Sciences, and 16th Worldwide for the MBA 6th in Europe. The world's most innovative universities rankings by Reuters, Bloomberg Businessweek, and the Financial Times ranked Imperial first in innovation and entrepreneurship in Europe. National Imperial consistently scores strongly in the UK university rankings and is ranked fourth in the 2016 Times Higher Education Table of Tables, which combines the results of the three main domestic league tables. In the 2016 Complete University Guide, all 14 of the subjects offered by Imperial were ranked top 10 nationally meaning it was one of only two mainstream universities along with the University of Cambridge in the UK to have all subjects ranked in the top 10. Imperial ranked first in London and third in the UK in the US News and World Report Global Rankings. In 2017, Imperial has been awarded the Gold Teaching Excellence Framework, TEF, judging that Imperial delivers 
consistently outstanding teaching, learning and outcomes for its students and that it is of the highest quality found in the UK. Career according to both the 2016 Guardian University Guide and the Complete University Guide, students were ranked as having the top employment prospects among UK universities. As of 2014 the average starting salary of a graduate was the highest of any UK university. According to data released by the Department for Education in 2018, Imperial was rated as the third best university in the UK for boosting female graduate earnings with female graduates seeing a 31.3% increase in earnings compared to the average graduate, and the fourth best university for males, with male graduates seeing a 25.3% increase in earnings compared to the average graduate. The New York Times ranked Imperial College as one of the top 10 most welcomed universities by the global job market. Topic. Research Imperial submitted a total of 1,257 staff across 14 units of assessment to the 2014 Research Excellence Framework REF, assessment. This found that 91% of Imperial's research is world-leading, 46% achieved the highest possible 4 asterisk score, or internationally excellent, 44% achieved 3 asterisk, giving an overall GPA of 3.36. In rankings produced by Times Higher Education based upon the REF results Imperial was ranked second overall. Imperial actively encourages its staff to commercialize their research and as a result has given rise to a large number of spin-out companies based on academic research. Imperial has a dedicated technology transfer company, Imperial Innovations. Imperial College London has a long-term partnership with the Massachusetts Institute of Technology. In January 2018, the Mathematics Department of Imperial and the French National Center for Scientific Research launched a joint research laboratory of mathematics, Umi Abraham de Mavra aiming to tackle the most challenging problems still unsolved and to build a bridge between the British and French scientific knowledges, based on the South Kensington campus of Imperial. The field's medalists Cedric Villani and Martin Herrer hosted the launch presentation. For its research on Parkinson's disease and multiple sclerosis, Imperial hosts the largest brain bank in the world, consisting of 296 brains. Topic. Admissions For 2016 entry, the acceptance rate was 13.0% for undergraduates and 16.2% for postgraduates. At undergraduate level, there is roughly one place for eight candidates. For 2016 entry, the domain with the lowest acceptance rate was mechanical engineering 11.5, 1 ratio. The highest was bioengineering 3.7, 1. By way of example, acceptance ratio in mathematics was of 9.3, 1, in medicine 8.6, 1, in chemical engineering 8.3, 1 and in physics 6.7, 1. In the 2019 table by the Complete University Guide, Imperial applicants had the second highest average entry scores in the UK, after Cambridge, with new entrants having an average UCAS tariff of 219. Imperial is among the most international universities in the United Kingdom, with 50% of students from the UK, 16% of students from the EU, and 34% of students from outside the UK or EU. The student body is 39% female and 61% male. 36.5% of Imperial's undergraduates are privately educated, the fourth highest proportion amongst mainstream British universities. Topic. Libraries The college's central library is located on Queen's Lawn contains the main corpus of the college's collection. It previously also housed the Science Museum's library until 2014. Refurbishment works, including installing air conditioning throughout the library, concluded in late 2018. The Fleming Library is located at St. Mary's in Paddington, originally the library of St. Mary's Hospital Medical School, with other hospital campuses also having college libraries. Topic. 
Topic: Medicine. The Imperial Faculty of Medicine was formed through mergers between Imperial and the St Mary's, Charing Cross and Westminster, and Royal Postgraduate Medical Schools and has 6 teaching hospitals. It accepts more than 300 undergraduate medical students per year and has around 321 taught and 700 research full-time equivalent postgraduate students. Imperial College Healthcare NHS Trust was formed on 1 October 2007 by the merger of Hammersmith Hospital's NHS Trust Charing Cross Hospital, Hammersmith Hospital and Queen Charlotte's and Chelsea Hospital and St. Mary's NHS Trust Street. Mary's Hospital and Western Eye Hospital with Imperial College London Faculty of Medicine. It is an academic health science centre and manages five hospitals, Charing Cross Hospital, Queen Charlotte's and Chelsea Hospital, Hammersmith Hospital, St Mary's Hospital, and Western Eye Hospital. The trust is currently one of the largest in the UK and in 2012-13 had a turnover of £971.3 million, employed approximately 9,770 people and treated almost 1.2 million patients. Other non-academic health science centres hospitals affiliated with Imperial College include Chelsea and Westminster Hospital, Royal Brompton Hospital, West Middlesex University Hospital, Hillingdon Hospital, Mount Vernon Hospital, Harefield Hospital. Hospital, Ealing Hospital, Central Middlesex Hospital, Northwick Park Hospital, St. Mark's Hospital, St. Charles's Hospital and St. Peter's Hospital. Topic. Controversies Topic. Accusations of bullying In 2003, it was reported that one-third of female academics believe that discrimination or bullying by managers has held back their careers. Imperial has since won the Athena Swan Award which recognizes employment practices that are supportive of the careers of women in science, technology, engineering and maths. In 2007, concerns were raised about the methods that were being used to fire people in the Faculty of Medicine. However, in 2014, Stefan Grimm, of the Department of Medicine, was found dead after being threatened with dismissal for failure to raise enough grant money. His last email before his passing accused his employers of bullying by demanding that he should get grants worth at least £200,000 per year. The college announced an internal inquiry into Stefan Grimm's death, and found that the performance metrics for his position were unreasonable, with new metrics for performance being needed. <laughs> <laughs> student life Student <laughs> body <laughs> 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 For the 2016-17 academic year, Imperial had a total full-time student body of 17,690, consisting of 9,520 undergraduate students and 8,170 postgraduates. 50.7% of the student body is from outside of the UK, 32% of all full-time students came from outside the European Union in 2013-14, and around 13% of the international students had Chinese nationality in 2007-08. Imperial's male-female ratio for undergraduate students is uneven at approximately 64 to 36 overall and 5 to 1 or higher in some engineering courses. However, medicine has an approximate 1 to 1 ratio with biology degrees tending to be higher. Topic: Imperial College Union. Imperial College Union is the students' union and is run by five full-time sabbatical officers elected from the student body for a tenure of 1 year and a number of permanent members of staff. It is split into constituent unions aligned with the faculties of the college, carrying on the association with the original constituent colleges of Imperial, the Royal College of Science Union, City and Guilds College Union, Royal School of Mines Students Union and Imperial College School of Medicine Students Union. 
The union is given a large subvention by the university, much of which is spent on maintaining over 300 clubs, projects and societies. Examples of notable student groups and projects are Project Nepal which sends Imperial College students to work on educational development programs in rural Nepal and the El Salvador Project, a construction-based project in Central America. The union also hosts sports-related clubs such as Imperial College Boat Club and Imperial College Gliding Club. The union operates on two sites, with most events at the union building on Bait Quad at South Kensington, with mostly medical school events at the Reynolds Bar, Charing Cross. <laughs> <laughs> Facilities Sports facilities at Imperial's London campuses include four gyms, including the main Ethos Gym at the South Kensington campus, two swimming pools and two sports halls. Imperial has additional sports facilities at the Heston and Harlington sports grounds. On the South Kensington campus, there are a total of six music practice rooms which consist of upright pianos for usage by people of any grade, and grand pianos which are exclusively for people who have achieved grade 8 or above. There are two student bars on the South Kensington campus, one at the Imperial College Union and one at Eastside. There are a number of pubs and bars on campus and also surrounding the campus, which become a popular social activity for Imperial students. The Pewter Tankard Collection at Imperial College Union is the largest in Europe, with the majority of clubs and societies having tankards associated with their clubs. <laughs> <laughs> student media Imperial College Radio Imperial College Radio Icradio was founded in November 1975 with the intention of broadcasting to the student halls of residence from a studio under Southside, actually commencing broadcasts in late 1976. It now broadcasts from the west basement of Bait Quad over the internet, Imperial College TV. Imperial College TV ICTV is Imperial College Union's TV station, founded in 1969 and operated from a small TV studio in the electrical engineering block. The department had bought an early Ampex Type A 1-inch videotape recorder and this was used to produce an occasional short news program which was then played to students by simply moving the VTR and a monitor into a common room. A cable link to the Southside Halls of Residence was laid in a tunnel under Exhibition Road in 1972. Besides the news, early productions included a film of the Queen opening what was then called College Block. Felix Newspaper Felix is weekly student newspaper, first released on 9 December 1949. In addition to news, Felix also carries comic strips, features, opinions, puzzles and reviews, plus reports of trips and Imperial College sporting events. <laughs> <laughs> student societies Imperial College Boat Club the Imperial College Boat Club is the rowing club of Imperial and was founded on 12 December 1919. The college's boat house is located in Putney on the Thames, and was recently refurbished, reopening in 2014. The club has a number of notable accolades, such as three alumni of the college in the gold medal winning GB8 Plus at the 2000 Sydney Olympics, along with their coach Martin McElroy. The club has been highly successful, with many wins at Henley Royal Regatta. Exploration Club Imperial's Exploration Board was established in 1957 to assist students with a desire for exploration. Trips have included Afghanistan, Alaska, Cameroon, Ethiopia, Fiji, the Himalayas, Iran, Morocco, Norway, Tanzania, Thailand, Ukraine, and the Yukon, Dramatic Society. The Imperial College Dramatic Society is one of two major theatrical arts societies, with the other being the Musical Theatre Society, and it was founded in 1912. The society puts on three major plays each year, in addition to several smaller fringe productions. 
It has additionally won the London-based dramatic societies to participate in the London Student Drama Festival, and regularly attends the Edinburgh Fringe. Dramsock is responsible for the day-to-day -day maintenance of the Union's theatrical space, the Union Concert Hall. Topic. Student housing Imperial College owns and manages 21 halls of residence in Inner London, Acton, and Ascot. Over 3,000 rooms are available, guaranteeing first-year undergraduates a place in college residences. The majority of halls offer single or twin accommodation with some rooms having en-suite facilities. Study bedrooms are provided with basic furniture and with access to shared kitchens and bathrooms. The majority of rooms come with internet access and access to the Imperial Network. Most of them are considered among the newest student halls at London universities. Most students in college or university accommodation are first-year undergraduates, since they are granted a room once they have selected Imperial as their firm offer with UCAS. The majority of older students and postgraduates find accommodation in the private sector, help for which is provided by the college private housing office. However a handful of students may continue to live in halls in later years if they take the position of a hall senior, and places are available for a small number of returning students in the Evelyn Garden Halls. Some students also live in International Students House, London. List of halls of residence Topic. Notable alumni, faculty and staff Nobel laureates, medicine Sir Alexander Fleming, Sir Ernst Boris Chain, Sir Frederick Gowland Hopkins, Sir Andrew Fielding Huxley, Rodney Robert Porter, Physics Abdus Salam, Sir George Paget Thompson, Patrick Blackett, Baron Blackett, Dennis Gabor, Peter Higgs, Chemistry Sir Norman Hayward, Sir Cyril Norman Hinshelwood, Sir Derek Barden, Sir Geoffrey Wilkinson, Sir George Porter, Fields Medalists, Klaus Friedrich Roth, Sir Simon Donaldson, Martin Herrer, Academic affiliations include, Sir Tom Kibble, co-discoverer of Higgs boson, Sir Tejinder Verdi, experimental particle physicist, Sir John Pendry, theoretical solid-state physicist, Sir Christopher Kelk Ingold, physical organic chemistry pioneer, Sir William Henry Perkin, discoverer of the first synthetic organic chemical dye mabane, Sir Edward Franklin, originator of the theory of chemical valency, Sir William Crookes, discoverer of thallium, Sir Alan First, chemist, David Phillips, chemist, Harold Hopkins, contributed to the theory and design of optical instruments, Alfred North Whitehead, mathematician and philosopher, Stephen Cowley, physicist and president of Corpus Christi College, Oxford, and Sir John Ambrose Fleming, inventor of the vacuum tube, in biology and medicine, Thomas Huxley, advocate of the theory of evolution, Wendy Barclay, virologist, Dame Sally Davies, the chief medical officer for England, David Livingstone, medical missionary. In engineering, Kai Anwura, politician, Dame Julia Higgins, polymer scientist, Dame Judith Hackett, former chair of the Health and Safety Executive, Dudley Maurice Newitt, scientific director of the Special Operations Executive, Julia King, Baroness Brown of Cambridge, engineer and member of the House of Lords, Claire Lloyd, biologist, non-academic affiliations include, H. G. Wells, author, Nicholas Tombazis, chief car designer at McLaren and Ferrari, Ralph Robbins, CEO of Rolls-Royce, Brian May, guitarist of rock band Queen, Chu Chun Seng, CEO of Singapore Airlines, Sir Julius Vogel, former Prime Minister of New Zealand, Rajiv Gandhi, Prime Minister of India, Teo Chi Heen, Deputy Prime Minister of Singapore, Hugh Thomas, physician to the Queen, Sir Roger Bannister, ran the first four-minute mile, Andreas Mogensen, first Danish astronaut, David Pearson, software engineer, Winston Wong, entrepreneur, Alan Howard, hedge fund manager and philanthropist, Cyrus Palongi Mystery, former chairman of the Tata Group, Michael Birch, entrepreneur, Henry Charles Stevens, politician, Sir Michael Aren, businessman and philanthropist, Ian Reid, CEO of Pfizer, Palab Ghosh, BBC correspondent, Hannah Devlin, science journalist. <laughs> Notes <laughs>